Um, that is a uh, mildly disturbing. Oh God. Oh God, get away from me. Okay, so it's time for my least favorite series on the channel. We are playing some more haunted PS1 games and I'm gonna make it a bit more tolerable for myself this time around because we're gonna play some third person games. I can tell by the previews which ones are third person and so far I know that Heartworm and Erasure is one of them. Well, Erasure isn't really third person, but as you can see, it's not first person, it's some trippy shit. We're gonna start with Heartworm and let's just get into it. All right, here we go. I'm still a bit nervous, okay? A horror game is still a horror game, whether it's third person or not, so we're just gonna, I guess, see how we are, okay. We're a pretty attractive female. I gotta say though, man, this apartment or room we're staying in is awful, okay? I'm gonna be honest here. This is a very shitty place to live. All right, so, I mean, our only option right now is to put in the tape, I guess, so that's what we're gonna do. Put the tape in. Let's see what's on it. I'm a little worried. I hope it's not like The Ring, whatever that shit is. I never watched it. I don't watch horror movies, okay? I'm not about that. I don't even play horror games. The only reason I'm doing this is because it's a bit less scary when I'm when I have an excuse to talk to myself, I guess. Okay, so we're playing through the VHS tape. I see. Okay. I see. Are those giant post-it notes? I want to read these. Do you remember? Okay. Uh, I don't. It's locked from the other side. Oh God. Let me see if I can. Maybe look through the window. I see some static going on. Yeah, you see that? This is definitely not the place we were just in. Okay, I know that much. This house is at least livable, you know? I could definitely see myself living here. Looking through the kitchen. Yeah, seems like a nice house, honestly. We even get a nice private backyard. I'm pretty sure there's a fence around it too. Yeah, you see that? Oh God. Um, is that a door? Yeah, I'm not, yeah, we're, we're just going to leave that for now, okay? There's no reason to go investigate that. I mean, I don't really want to go underground right now. Let's see if this is unlocked. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. Let me check the controls one second. Okay, so we have a run button, which is not good at all. That's definitely not good. A very nice dining room, honestly. If it wasn't for the rain, the thunder, and the ominous music, I'd honestly feel pretty good right now, okay? I like the house. That's the front door. Should we unlock it, maybe? For later usage? I don't know. I see something, though. That's a key. I'm trying to see this painting. I cannot tell what that is. It's a little bit too pixelated. Okay, there's got to be a reason why this camera's so close up here. More books than I don't know what to do with. One of them is missing. Okay, so I'm guessing we're supposed to look for a book. Is this a room back here? Oh, it's, okay, yeah. It just leads up here. I'm guessing we can't go upstairs. It's a bit blocked. Yeah, they're completely blocked. Okay. Oh, look, you see that on the wall? The fridge has definitely been moved, man. I think I discovered something. Uh, it's covered in deep scratches. Oh, shit, dude. Never mind. I thought that was a hidden passageway, but that's even worse. Deep scratches. Oh, God. I think we're going to head outside. And it's also good to unlock... Yeah, unlock the front door. Do you think we're strong enough to just kind of lift it, maybe? Or we could probably crawl under? Garage door won't budge. The opening's too small to crawl through. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I think you could fit down there. Oh, okay. So that's the key we got. Awesome. All right. I feel a bit smarter. And I think we know where the book is. But I don't like in the garage, man. Oh, shit. That's a lot of VHS tapes. Like, quite a few. I do see some light under there. Wait. I actually didn't even mean to do that. I accidentally walked into it. That kind of looks like I l looked up an online guide. I swear I didn't. Okay, that was on accident. I saw the light under it, and I was just kind of walking, trying to press the L button, but... I promise I'm not cheating, man. Okay. I found the book, though. Picked up the red book, and we do know where... Um. Is that what I... Am I seeing something? You saw that. Oh, God. 
Can we just stay up here, man, for the rest of the day or something? I do not want to go down. We don't really have a choice, though. We kind of have to head out of here, so... Let's just hope whatever that was is gone. It looked like a ghost. I don't know, man. Let's get inside, okay? Let's not uh, dilly-dally, okay? I don't, know, I don't even say dilly-dally. That's probably the first time I've ever said dilly-dally, so... Yeah, just wanted to point that out. Okay, so we are here now. And I was right. Awesome. Place a fake book in the empty space. Oh, the fridge is, uh... I don't know. How the... How does... Maybe there's something behind the wall. I don't know. Whatever. It's best not to question it. Let's just enter this room. Okay. I'm not liking this. Oh, God. It's awfully quiet down here. A lot of VHS tapes. I've noticed that. There are a lot of VHS tapes lying around. It was like that in the garage, too. It's a creepy basement. I have to say, I'm just happy. The lights are on. Are you supposed to interact with this? Oh, wait. We're probably going to have to push this, right? Yep. I do not like it down here, man. I really don't. What? Is that the way we came? I don't think so. I don't think it is. Is that a note? Letter from T. So apparently we stopped showing up to work. Everybody's worried. My boss even called my mom, apparently. Said I stopped showing up. So something happened 10 years ago. This is probably the source of our trauma. Well, obviously it is. But apparently T had something to do with it. But I have no idea. I'm wondering what that's all about. But I'm guessing we'll find out eventually. This is elevator. Why do we have an elevator in the basement? What? Is that a normal thing people have? Because I don't. I don't think people will have this either in their basement, honestly. So I have no idea where we are. Okay. There's definitely a lot of static going on. I wonder if I fall, I'll die. So I'm kind of worried. Just try not to do that. More VHS tapes. Uh, I can't do anything. I don't know why he's walking like that. It's a little weird. Oh, I think that's me. So nothing good. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm fine. The game was getting a little bit too creepy for me. So you know, I'm fine with that. Let's just move on to the next one. It sounds interesting too. I mean, it's talking about deep simulation pods that keep you company, but then it does say something is waiting for you, which is not nice, but you know what? Let's just jump into it, okay? All right, it is now time for Erasure. And uh, yeah, I do not know what to expect. That title screen. There's a photo sensitivity warning, so... I'll leave that on the screen for a little bit. So if you have photosensitivity, you know, that is a judgment call on your part. And what am I doing? By the way, the words at the bottom are cut off. I'm sorry about that. This game does not want to go in full screen. So part of that is cut off and I'm sorry. Um, oh shit. This is like that cat game all over again. I have no idea what to do. Oh, reanimate. What? Um, thanks for fixing my dog. Okay, you're welcome. Whatever. I'm talking to the user. You can go now. What the hell? Oh my god, his face. I didn't even notice that. I was too busy reading the text box. That is one ugly... Dude, I guess. Leave? Dude, why are you being so rude to me? Oh my god, he dis... Did he just kick me from the game? What the hell? He totally just kicked me. Okay, are we coding? Oh my god. Um, yep, this is definitely like that cat game. This is exactly like that cat game. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same dude who made it. It's a bunch of fishies. God. Is this the mainframe that we were just hacking into? User abusing safety protocol. User decide... Hey, is that a word? I don't think it is. Can we leave? Okay, we are leaving. It looks like we have a virtual reality headset on. So, uh... I don't know if this is some sort of VR we're experiencing right now. Guess we're gonna head into the elevator. And, uh, head down. Or up, I guess. I don't really know. I should've checked around. Why did I immediately go in the elevator? There's probably some cool shit we could've saw, but... Whatever. It's too late. Oh god. That doesn't sound good. Uh, that doesn't look good. Is that smoke? No. I don't know. Uh, we should probably leave, I think, right? Is there a way I could go in? This way? Yeah. Okay, that's not smoke. That's just like some sort of tarp. Um, I just pressed E. I didn't even read. Shit. Sorry about that. Oh, we're entering a simulation. Okay, so these are the simulation pods. 
that it was talking about in the description. Okay. Establishing link to user neural interface. Okay, so this is definitely some sort of VR shit. Oh god, this again. So I can reset simulation. I can disconnect from the neural interface. Data buffer, defrag. Um, and what's this? Bior clamation. Okay, dude. Um, my brain is clearly not big enough for this game. Okay, let's defrag the data buffer. Buffer empty, of course. You see, I knew that. I was just I was just testing the game, you know? I'm not going to reset the simulation. I'm guessing that's going to reset the game. We're going to do whatever the fuck that means, okay? Nope, it's incomplete. Okay, should we disconnect from the data buffer? Okay, I disconnected. Dude, I have no idea what... I, I could have just ended the world for all I know. I have no idea. Okay, so I disconnected. Now we do that? Okay, um, seems that pod is now glowing. Oh, you know what? So that machine in my room was alerting me that I guess the pod was malfunctioning or something like that. So I went down to fix it. So, okay, I'm just, I, I see what I'm doing here. So I just fixed the pod and now I guess we can go back and continue our virtual reality simulation. Oh no, it's still making that noise. Maybe we should head back to it. I can't run by the way, so. That's actually good. If something were to chase me in this game, I'm guessing there would be a sprint button, so. Since there isn't, that means we're probably not gonna be chased, so that's good. Oh, I should probably go to this door that is uh, different than the rest. That's uh, pretty obvious here. Okay. All right, the second pod, I'm guessing we're gonna fix this one too. This is gonna be brutal. I'm probably gonna have to edit a decent amount of this out because it's gonna probably take me a few hours to figure this one out if it's the same. Oh, it's not, okay. Um, that is uh, mildly disturbing. Oh God. Oh God, get away from me. Oh, it's just, he's just sliding down, I guess. Damn, I guess we're gonna head down to this pile of gore that is uh, disgusting. Guess we gotta step over it. Yep. Oh god. That is a lot of bones, a lot of blood, and a lot of stuff that isn't good. So. Oh my god! Ah! Fuck you, you stupid game. Why'd that scare me so much? Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Oh my god. That is fucking disturbing. Hold on a second. Gotta fix something here. Get the fuck out of my head. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh god, maybe we should do this quick. Uh, disconnect. User restricting access. Um, I can't really read what's at the bottom. Disconnect. Okay, so I disconnected. Technician loser. Um, safety off. Glorified janitors. I'm struggling between doing this and also reading, so... Oh, I defragged. Okay. He's telling me to stop, though. Uh, def delete. Okay, I'm gonna delete the corrupted data before he gets closer to me, I guess. I'm trying not to focus on the face right there. I just moved the window. Oh, God. I wish this was a full screen game. Delete it. Okay. Uh. Oh, my God. I have to stop. Oh, my God. Not Steam. Why am I bringing up my Steam, dude? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, man. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking and doing. I was shaking my head. We're heading downwards. I really do not want to go out here, though. Let's try and, I guess, do the same thing we did before. Oh, it's different. I guess we fix this one. I'm guessing this is the next uh, simulation. Oh, it says at the bottom, you idiot. Of course, it's the next simulation. I think I remember what to do here, so disconnect from that. I'm gonna defrag. Nope, never mind. Disconnect it and then defrag. Oh shit. Um, that was uh, disturbing. I'm not gonna question it. Let's just do what we're supposed to do here. And uh, I think we did it. That's one simulation pod down though. And uh, we've got quite a few more to do, I guess. Here we go, let's do this one. I'm starting to get the hang of the game. At first I was that was weird. I'm starting to get the hang of it. It's still going to make me look like a dumbass, and people are probably going to get pissed off at me in some way, but... Yep, I definitely see where the uh, photosensitivity warning 
comes into play here. Um, uh, we should probably leave, right? Breach detected. Yeah, dude, that, that did look like a breach to me. New mind. User deceit. Did I just, wait, did I die? Connect old. Did I really die? Oh, God. Um, uh, I'm guessing I should click, click on these things. Oh, no, not the, oh, my God, I keep doing that. Uh, I just pulled up my OBS. Oh, my God, I pulled up my, I'm, I'm actually pissed. I'm actually pissed right now. The reason I keep pulling random stuff up, I'm clicking the top of the screen, which moves the window of the game. Um. Yeah. Uh. This is, uh, awful. I can't do anything. Trapophobia. Jeez. Or is it tripophobia? I don't know. It's one of the phobias. I wonder if that was a certain ending where you're too stupid to continue playing and they just end the game for you. All right, so that's it for the Haunted PS1 games today. Honestly, I let my guard down for this last one. This Erasure game did get me. Oh my God. Ah! I've definitely been spoiled in the series, okay? But I feel like that's gonna come to an end soon because some of these games that I haven't played yet are kind of creepy looking. Insomnio, I think we're gonna play this one next. Look at that. I don't even wanna look at the preview for too long. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one where we play this game and some other haunted ps1 game i don't even know which one yet and honestly i don't even want to know i'm just gonna leave it here and yeah i'll see you in the next one